Good morning. Today's lesson is 7.7. Today we're going to be doing some problem solving and we're going to be combining like terms. Our essential question, how can you use the strategy, use a model to combine like terms? Like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variables with the same exponents. So the numerical terms are also like terms. So for example, 5x plus 3y minus 2x. The, fi the, the 5x and the 2x are like terms, right? And the, on this one, 8z squared plus 4z plus 12z squared. Well, the 8z and the 12z squared are like terms. And then we have 15 minus 3x plus 5. Well, in this one, so there's our three terms, the 15 and the 5 are the like terms. So let's unlock the problem. Baseball caps cost $9 and patches cost $4. Shipping is $8 per order. The expression 9n plus 4n plus 8 gives the cost in dollars of buying caps with patches for n players, or an unknown amount of players. So simplify the expression 9n plus 4n plus 8 by combining the like terms. We have the term 9n, 4n, and 8. So use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. We need to figure out which ones of these are like terms. So first of all, what do I need to find to simplify the expression? Well, what I need to find is I need to find that 9n plus 4n plus 8. What information do I need to use? Well, I need to use the like terms 9n and 4n, because they're the ones who are like terms. How will I use the information? Well, I can use a bar model to, to find the sum of the like terms. So in the bar model, I can add 9n and 4n. So each square is going to represent 1n, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these yellow ones represent the 9n. And then the green ones have 1, 2, 3, 4, which represents my 4n. So the model shows that it's 13n, right? Because I can count them, right? So let's count them just to make sure you guys know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the answer is going to be 9n plus 4n plus 8 is 13n plus 8. So if I simplify that in expression, it would be 13n plus 8 would be the expression that would be simplified by combining my like terms. I'm not solving for n yet, I'm just simply combining the like terms. Let's try another problem. Paintbrushes normally cost $5 each, but they are on sale for $1 off. A paintbrush case costs $12. The expression 5p minus p plus 12 can be used to find the cost in dollars of buying p paintbrushes on sale plus the case for them. Simplify the expression 5p minus p plus 12 by combining the like terms. Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find out an expression to simplify 5p minus p plus 12. What information do I need to use? Well, I need to use the like terms 5p and p. How will I use the information? Well, I can use a bar model to find the difference of the like terms. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So if you draw a bar model to subtract the 5p and the p, then each square is going to represent p, or 1p. So here's my model. So I have my 5p right here, my 5p, and then I have my 1p. So if I simplify the expression, and remember it's 5p minus p, so then I'm going to get 4p, because 5 minus 1 is 4, right, plus the 12. So simplify the expression and cost for the cost in dollars would be 4p plus 12. Now let's use the models to explain how the bar model shows that your answer is correct. Well, the 5 squares model 5p, and 1 square is the 1p, and when you take 1 square away from 5 squares, you are left with the 4 squares, which, re which represents the 4p. Explain how you could combine like terms without using a model. Well, you can add or subtract the coefficients of the like terms, then use the sum or difference of the coefficients as the variables in the simplified expression. So you don't have to draw a bar model. So let's just say I have 4p plus 3p minus 12. So my like terms are 4p and 3p, and I'm adding them. 4 plus 3 is 7, so I'd have 7p minus 12. It's that easy. Let's do a couple more. So share and show. 
Museum admission costs $7, and tickets to the Mammoth exhibit cost $5. The expression 7P plus 5P represents the cost in dollars for P people to visit the museum and to attend the exhibit. Simplify the expression by combining the like terms. So we're going to combine the 7P and the 5P. And what are we doing? We're adding them, right? So if you wanted to draw a bar model, you can draw 7 of the P and 5 of the P. And then when you count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So your answer would be 7P plus 5P equals 12P. So the simplified expression cost in dollars is going to be 12P. So $12 times the amount of people that are going to be visiting the museum. What if the ticket, what if the cost of the ticket to the exhibit were reduced to $3? Write an expression for the new cost in dollars for P for people to visit the museum to attend the exhibit and then simplify it by, by combining like terms. Well, it would be 7P plus 3P, not 5P, um, and that would give you 10P. Because remember, they said to rewrite this one as 3P, so we did that. And 7 plus 3 is 10, so the answer would be 10P. The rest of you are going to work with a partner, or I am going to be at the back kidney table um, to help you if you need anything. All right, good luck.